Hello viewers, in this video lecture we are going to see the topic Equivalence of Pushdown Automata and Context Free Grammar from the third unit of Theory of Computation. Objectives are to understand the theorem to convert the context free grammar into Pushdown Automata and to do the problems to convert a given grammar into Pushdown Automata model. Now, Equivalence of Pushdown Automata and CFG. If a grammar G is context free, we can build an equivalent non deterministic Pushdown Automata which accepts the language that is produced by the context free grammar. That is, in this topic, we can develop a Pushdown Automata for the given context free grammar. So, the equivalent context free grammar G can be constructed where L of G equal to L of P. That is if the language of the grammar is same as the language of the Pushdown Automata, we can develop the Pushdown Automata for the given context free grammar. Now we can see how to convert a CFG into PDA. First of all the input will be the CFG. CFG will be defined with uh, or the CFG can have the set of non-terminals, set of terminal symbols, production rules and static non-terminal and the equivalent output will be the equivalent PDA. PDA will have the set of states, set of input symbols, um, starting sta set of stack symbol, state transition functions, starting state, starting stack symbol, final state. And the important steps are, first of all, in step 1, we have to convert the productions of CFG into GNF. GNF means Gribach normal form. It is one of the normalization form for the grammar. First of all, we have to convert, rearrange all the grammar into GNF form. In the second step, uh, we will always assume, consider the resultant PDA will have only one state, Q. Then in step 3, the starting symbol of the CFG will be the starting symbol in the PDA. Now, and the important steps are in step 4, all the non-terminals of the CFG will be the stack, sim stack symbols of the PDA. Then all the terminal symbols of the uh, CFG will become the input symbols of the PDA. Then in the fifth step, we will have the concept to how to write a state transitions for the given PDA. So, uh, from the grammar for every production we will write the state transitions in PDA. For example, if we have the production in the format A tends to AX where A is the terminal symbol, A and X are the combination of terminals and non-terminals. We may think actually A and X are non-terminals but when we substitute this, when we perform the expansion, uh, it will have when we expand the value for example when we substitute for a a will get ax so it consists of the combination of terminal and non terminal so we are telling a and x are the combination of terminal and non terminals so for this kind of productions we will make a transition like del of q comma a comma a then we are going to see the example uh, we are having one grammar grammar is defined with uh, uh, v comma t comma p comma s here the non terminals are s comma s and x terminal symbols are a and b and the productions are s tends to x s and s tends to epsilon and the second production is this is wrong x tends to a x b or x b and a b so we are having three productions for x x tends to a x b x tends to x b x tends to a b so in this uh, grammar we are having two non terminals capital letter s and capital letter x terminal symbols are a and b and now we are going to construct the pda for the given grammar so first of all we can define the pda in the format uh, set of states q two symbols are uh, two terminal symbols from the grammar a comma b stack symbols will be uh, the both the combination of terminal and non terminal from the production rules that is a comma b comma x comma s and the delta function uh, there will be only one state so the starting state and the final state everything will be q then the starting 
simple stack simple uh, then we have to write the delta function for each and every production rule first of all for the production rule uh, s tends to x s epsilon we we have written the uh, delta function like this del of q comma epsilon comma s we have to put first two parameters in the same way that is q comma epsilon and the third parameter will be the non terminal in the production rule left hand side production rule so s equal to so in the right hand side we have to place the uh, right hand side terms from the production rule so q comma x s comma q comma epsilon these are the right hand sides from the corresponding grammar production rule so the left hand side we have to place yes in the right hand side we have to substitute the necessary things from the grammar so this is in this way we have to write the uh, delta function for each and every production rule and for the second production rule our production rule is x tends to a x b or we are having three rules for x x b or a b so for x we are having three terms we have written this as uh, delta function del of q comma epsilon comma x equal to q comma first right hand side is a x b second right hand side is q comma x b third one is q comma a b in this way we have to write and for the terminal symbols we have to write the transition function in this manner that is del of q comma a comma a del of 1 comma 1 sorry not 1 b b that is del of q comma b comma b equal to q comma epsilon in this way we have to write del of q comma del of q comma b comma b equal to uh, q comma epsilon so for all the non terminal we have to expand the terms in the right hand side from the production rule and for all the terminal symbols we have to write the common things like q comma epsilon now we are going to see algorithm to find the context free grammar corresponding to the given pda so here we are going to do the operation in a reverse manner here we can derive a context free grammar from the given pda so here we have to convert the pda into cfg so here the input is cfg output will be the equivalent pda here also some algorithmic steps are there uh, here uh, the non terminals of the grammar will be x wox and the starting state will be a q 0 f and in the step 1 for every w o x y is set belongs to the set of states that is for every set of states and every set of starting symbol and every set of input symbols a comma b and our transition function delta contains symbols like parameters like y comma m and z comma b comma m we have to add the production rule that is for every states or for every the first step will tell is telling for every state transition function we have to write a production rule so we are doing the same operation in a reverse manner for every uh, state transition function we are we have to write the production rule in the format x w o x tends to a into x y x b and in the second step for every states we have to write the production rule for every states we have to write the production rule in the format x w o x tends to x w o y x o x then for every states we have to add the production rule like uh, production rule for the epsilon productions so first two steps are very important first one is for every state transition function we have to create the production rule in the second step for every states we have to produce the production rule and in the third step is about to produce the epsilon transitions like uh, epsilon production rule and that's all about the topic the possible university questions are how to convert a given context free grammar into pda and the another one possible question is design push tone automata for the given context free grammar that's all thank you